Welcome everyone to my channel, Andy79Z28. Now, today for something completely different. As you can see in the camera, I got a new toy. I don't know why, I've been looking at crossbows for a couple of years. Never, never really made a decision on one. And I finally pulled the trigger with the help of a few other people uh, making the decision. Uh, JH586, thank you for your input. This is the Centerpoint Spectre 375 crossbow. This is the unboxing and assembly. Let's see what we got here. We got the arrow quiver, I guess. Wow, it looks like a rifle. Look at this. This looks like a looks like a rifle. Telescoping stock. Wow, cheek rise, cheek riser, all these goodies. It comes with a scope that goes on the, the rail. I don't know, never owned one of these. This is going to be an interesting uh, thing to do. Okay, so now we'll take this out. What else is in the box? We'll move the box over. We got three target bolts. Hmm. One tip is not in one of them. A box of goodies. Oh, there's the tip from the other one. These just screw in. Yep, you because you can screw in a different tip. Okay. The scope. they call this part the boom look it's a mini bow you can't even move this thing holy moly and I'm gonna to have to cock this thing I don't think so okay they give you a sling and buried in the bottom is an instruction booklet I guess and I don't know, this is something, oh, this goes on the front because it holds the arrows. Okay. Never did this kind of thing before, so let's see what we got. Let's move the scope out of the way. Let's remove this tag. Specifications. Up to 300 feet per second, draw weight 175 pounds, kinetic energy 116 foot pounds, power stroke 14 inch, limbs, composite quad limbs, stock composite, riser is aluminum, optics 4 by 32 scope, safety ambidextrous, mass weight 7.5 pounds, length Axle, I don't know what these things mean. Uh, ax, axle to axle width, 13 point inch, 8 inches cocked. That's, I guess, that's this is what they, I guess they call the axle. And color is camo. And that's, a, that's about it for that. Get this in the back out of the way. This is a piece of garbage. And now let's open this little box of goodies. Oh, they give you well, not much to put together on a few parts. Cocking rope. Whatever that is, it fell on the floor. That belongs to me. If it falls on the floor, it belongs to me. Remember that when you're doing things, uh, you got to have a box there for Andy. If it falls on the floor, put it in that box. When you get some things in the box, you have to ship it to me. Okay, that's all that's in there. So now, let's get the bolts. The bolts can get out of the way for now. We don't need them in our way. Got to find a place to put more junk now. I got too many projects going on at the same time. It's uh, killing me here. Okay. Something about... Oh, okay. This piece goes on the front. And... This is you when you push, put the ball face down. You put your foot in it, and then you cock back the uh, the string. Okay, and they show you how to do it, the proper way to line the string up. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. We won't need that yet. Okay. Let's 
Okay. And let's hope there's assembly instructions in the book. What's this? Uh, flight rail lube, stick lubricant with silicone. Hmm. Looks like chapstick. Interesting. It is quite lubricable. Loopy, loopy, slippery. Okay. Let's open this book. In your manual. Crossbow safety. Assembling the crossbow. Okay. Let's see if we can do this the first time out. Okay. Attach the cable slide to the cables. Okay. That would be nice if there was a picture here. Cable slide to cables. Figure this attach the cable slide to the cables. The cable slide has a large gap on one side to the private side of the rail. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. This looks like it. Parts down here. A couple of different, a couple of long. Fails, read the instructions, right guys? I mean, this doesn't look like the part that they're showing. Okay, let's see what part. Uh, A, B, C, D, N, cable slide, N, where are you? J-K-N. It's a little tiny freaking piece. What the hell are they doing here? Cable slide. N. Another box of goodies. N. I wish there was a bigger picture of N. It's a little block. Hey, this is going to be interesting because the, the pictures in this book are not that good. Learning the parts across both to figure two. Okay, I'm not worried about the parts, I'm learning about N. Not much of a picture for N. Well, this is gonna take a little bit of figuring out because they're not giving me any real information here. Stand this up and they're showing this piece. And they're showing I don't get it. I'm going to need some uh, N. N. Okay, see N. Slide the cable slide onto the opening at the end of the rail while sliding the string down the top of the rail. I don't know what they're doing here. This is a, a little confusing. Definitely enough to figure it out. attach the cap joint pad to the joint. Slide the cable, slide onto the opening at the end of the rail. To me, this is the rail, but they're showing something. I don't know. This is uh, a little bit uh, strange here. I don't know. This is going to be one of those videos, these things you're going to have to figure out. N. This has got to be N. See, this is confusing. But they don't... <sighs> things that don't make sense, right? N. To me, this is supposed to go here. There's another picture with N. It's not making a lot of sense to me. So we're going to have to figure this out. We're
we're going to have to improvise here. We're going to have to see which, what this does. Figure three. Why are they even showing this? They're showing this part, this block, okay, and they're showing N. Not making sense. They're showing this N. This is you know, I guess what it is is somebody that doesn't know this becomes a maybe it goes like that. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it goes like that. That might be it. And it goes. Yeah, this is the the instructions don't give you a lot to see here. They're showing to put this sucker. Not, not understanding this, the, the, the information is very poorly done. A, uh, okay, N, but I got N. There's no question about it. N says cable slide. And it's showing this like that. Actually, it's showing it this way. And it's showing to put this. Uh, okay, it's showing this definitely is this way. The best I can tell by the way this looks. Uh, yeah, except it's showing it this way now. Okay, that's the way they're showing in a book, and they're showing this goes like this between these two cables. Like that. Okay. Attach the joint slide the cable slide onto the opening at the end of the attach the cable slide to the cables. The cable slide has to has a larger gap on one side to properly slide onto the rail. Okay, I don't a larger gap on one side than the other to properly slide onto the rail. That don't make sense in any way to me. Makes no sense in the way I'm reading this. They're showing this picture is like this with this rails the way I have it. Figure three. Slide the slide the cable slide onto the opening at the end of the rail while sliding the string down top of the rail. Not making still not making sense to me, people. Okay. Well, I see where this has to go, but it's still not making sense. Because to get this to go over, you got to get this like that, and then the tension doesn't allow you to do it. Okay, we're getting there. I think that's I don't want to force nothing, that's for sure. That ain't lining up. I guess maybe I should have looked at a video on YouTube, huh? It's on, but I think it's supposed to go down further. It doesn't look like it's all the way down. That's as far as it's going to go. I would think it's supposed to go further down. Unless there's a cover that goes over that, maybe because they don't, the pictures are very, very, very bad. 
Okay. Attach the joint cap pad to the joint cap. Figure four. Oh, no, okay, they don't tell it'd be nice they tell you things. There's something supposed to go in between. So now we gotta get this apart again. Ah, not too bad. Pictures are pretty bad, that's all. My joint cap. So that's this little thing here. And to me, that's the joint cap. Now it doesn't tell you, this is a peel-off thing. Attach the joint cap pad to the joint cap side. Slide the joint cap onto the rail. And that's the only way it can go. All right, well, we're going to peel this off. Hopefully we're doing it right. It's the only way I can see that this goes together. Put this pad on here. And I've never owned a crossbow before, so I have no idea. Okay, so that's that's the pad. It's definitely on. Maybe not on right. Okay. That looks like, yeah, that looks a little better. Let's get it straighter. Okay. Slide the riser onto the rail and slow and tighten the riser bolt. Okay, I guess this, this is what's called a riser, I guess. I have no idea. I'm, I've, like I said, I don't know anything about crossbows. So, slide this on. Okay, that's as far as I can put it by hand. Okay, onto the rail, install and tighten the riser bolt. Now, this is the only one that makes sense to go in there because it's the hole on the end here is countersunk and is the only large bolt with a countersink. So, let's go with that. What's the worst going to happen when I pull the trigger, the whole thing falls apart? Okay, so we're tight. You're not, you're not in the video, so I'm tightening, tightening, tightening down this. It doesn't say how tight to make it, it says tighten it down. So I don't know if this is going to pull everything together. Yes it is. I can see it pulling it together. Okay guys, I've never dealt with a crossbow. So this will have to start the riser bolts with the riser off of the slow and tighten the riser bolt using the hex wrench. So start the riser bolts. That's screw the productive. Okay, so this goes in. That's tight. And they have what's called the rise of boob set screw. So let's look at three, five and six. And there's two screws here. One's longer than the other. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's put the longer one in and see how it sits. I would think it has to go flush. I would think this has to tighten down and go flush. It sticks up a little bit, so I don't know if that's the right one. Uh, insert the riser bolt set screw. Let's see if there's a picture of it. Wrenches. I got one bolt. And great. They don't tell you which one. So there's a short bolt, a short screw, and a long screw. Uh, well, worst case is I have to take things apart. I'm going to go with the short one. Okay, well, no. This is just to hold the screw so the screw don't loosen. But it looks like something else mounts on here, so I don't want to put the screw that's longer. So let's tighten this down. Okay. That should be good. Inserting the stirrup. Insert the stirrup. That'd be nice if they had some pictures. Five and five pictures. Five. I did that. Five, six. The picture don't show the bolts. 
put this screwing in, okay? I'm going to start the, the stirrup onto the riser by aligning, and this is the stirrup. I mean, this is bad. They don't, the pictures on here are terrible. I'm thinking that's backwards. Let's see if there's a better picture of it. This assembled, and this is the gun this this way, and the loop is going down. Okay, so put this in here. I don't know how far down it's supposed to go. This is you can only go so far. Okay, so you put this in here. Yes, these two screws are longer. So let's put these in. I'm I, I'm surprised that that's that's all it's going to hold this. For me, putting my foot on it. Okay, that's the on the bottom. That faces down. Yeah, I got that on there, right? Okay. Put this in, and they're just showing you the tightening. Okay, great. They don't. It'd be nice if they give you like the screw is six point, you know, a half inch long. The other one's three eighths long or something, so you know which screw it is. So we're going with this for now. Tighten the other one. Remember, guys, I know nothing about crossbows. This is my first crossbow experience. I've never seen a video on on assembling one. I don't know how tight to really make these. I'm making them what I think is tight enough. That's not too tight. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Important, be sure that the bow unit is secured tightly before engaging crossbow assembly bolts. May need, assembly bolts may need to be retightened periodically after use. Okay. Assemble the quiver. This is it, the bows together. Okay. Assemble the quiver. That's this piece. I mean, their pictures are so bad. Okay, what do we got here? Why is there all these there's extra holes here? And I, I'm not sure what they're for. Is this going single or quiver? There's two pieces. This I got three pieces of foot left here. showing what looks like, they're showing this, this is assembled, so they're showing me assembling this, I don't know why it assembled already, and I have no idea where this goes, so this is the bottom, this, this definitely doesn't go there, I see a swing attachment, I don't see Loosen the screws on the mounting bracket and attach the picketary. Loosen the screws on the mounting. The inspector comes with a parallel quiver mount. It can be mounted onto the left or the right side of your crossbow. Loosen the screws on the mounting bracket and attach the picketary rail under the barrel in front of the forearm. What's that have to do with the quiver? All right, let's go back to the finished product picture. Maybe we can get a better idea. And they don't show that on here. They're not showing the quiver. That's great. Those, okay, those are the, those are the bone hits for cushioning. Yeah, it'd be really nice if they would actually give you some real instructions here. All right, so this is going to slide in and out of this. Okay, so you can take it off. So now, where are you mounted? This is the picketary rail, but there's no... I don't see any way to slide this into anything. Okay, we're trying to figure it out, people. Trying to figure out. The picture doesn't show this mounted.
just doesn't show this mounted. I mean, that's the basic crossbow together, and I, I'm not sure is this how this is going to mount. This doesn't go on the rail, picketary rail. It can't mount on the top because the, the bolt goes there. So this has to mount somewhere on the bottom, and they're not giving us pictures. Oops, they're not giving us pictures here. So this is uh, getting this is. This has to come out somehow. Okay, this slides out, so we'll do it this way. It would go like that. But again, I still don't know where this is going to mount. Wait a minute, what is this? Aha! Aha! Very poor instructions. This is going to go under here. That's got to be how it goes. Under here. And this has got to be the, this is the piece of the mount. This has to go. You know how you do something and things don't make sense? It's a shame they don't have a real picture here. Okay, that's how it goes. So, what we're going to do now is these two long bolts. That's your picketary rail mounts, I guess. Yep, this goes through here. And you adjust this to wherever I guess you want it, but I don't know, I don't know where to put it, so I'm going to... Goes like that. So we'll move it just one notch up a little bit. Put this other one in. Not bad for a guy that doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Okay, are these screws different lengths? No. Ah. Okay, these go in. There's two nuts here. Boy, they really give you a lot of information on this, let me tell you guys. Thank God I'm a little bit mechanically inclined, otherwise I wouldn't be putting this together. I still got a part left over, so I got to figure this out yet. Oops, I think I figured something out. So before we go nuts with this thing here, now that we know how it's going to go, I am probably standing in front of things. You can't see half of what I'm doing. I bet you that's what's going on in the camera. Because I don't, I'm not watching the camera where I'm standing. Come on. Okay, that's in. These are lock nuts. Okay, so we get them started. Okay, they're started. Let's put that out of the way now. Let's go back here. It looks like there's another piece that has to go in here that they didn't actually show in the picture. They call it a mounting pad. They don't tell you everything you need to know. So it looks like I'm going to have to take that off again. Not a big deal. I think we can do this without having to... Uh, let's take this off. Get the right wrench would help. Loosen this up. Loosen this up. This out. We gotta loosen this big sucker up again because it looks like this piece is supposed to go in here. And we just have to, uh, which they don't even show you. They just say put the pad in. They don't talk about nothing about putting that part. In. But I have a leftover part, and that corresponds to what I was looking at before. down my pneumatic tools had been done already. Why is that giving me this so it seems to be very tight? Oh because this Okay, that comes out. Take this 
now. Constructions, their constructions are very, very, very bad. Okay, so now, probably going to have to take this off totally. I can't see it's not coming off totally to get this piece on correctly. I'm going to flip this up. this out. There we go. And this goes along here. Let's go this. See, that's, again, very, very bad instruction. They talk about putting a pad on. They don't talk about this part. This goes on one way or the other. I don't think it goes that way. There we go. And then does this pad go on next? Here? Yeah, that's that's where that goes. Yep. That pad fits right in there. It's not in the I'm sorry guys, it's not in the instructions. So now we gotta put this back on. Get this back on. Which is a little bit tough. Again, it's probably a trick, I just don't know anything about crossbows. As long as I don't break anything, I'm happy. Okay? Okay, back together. There we go. Yep. They don't even talk. I'm looking back in here. Uh, attach the joint cap pad to the joint cap. Okay, great. We're getting there. Not bad. Instructions are pretty poor. The pictures are pretty poor. They they should show you the parts differently than they do. You guys know when you put stuff together, they usually show you things. Now it makes sense why I said it wasn't pulling together all the way. Now it's going to be fine. It'll be fine, right, Tim? Right, Tim, man. It'll be fine. Okay, nice and tight. Tighten that down so the screw don't back out. That's a lock screw. Okay, that was good. Now we need to got that. Now we need to put this back in, and it goes definitely this way. And we need to tighten these two screws down. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. I have a slight nasal con issue. And I don't even realize I'm doing it half the time when I listen to my video playbacks. I see it. Alrighty. Now we got that. Now, this is... Bottom pick t now, this is adjustable, too. Uh, which I don't know where I'm going to want it. This, uh, this is uh, the uh, front hand guard. It is adjustable. So, for now, we're just going to Make sure it's tight. There's a little wobble in it. I don't know. There we go. We tighten it up a little bit, take the wobble out. There we go. And then we'll put this. It goes on. And we want it on this side, I think. And it really clears everything, so I guess it's not a, an issue how far up you put it. So we're going to put it on the, the last notch of the rail. We're going to tighten these up. I should have got out my real tools. But I didn't think I was going to need them. And again, I know nothing about cross bows. This is going to be a whole new venture for me. Pistols were up. I think pistols were a lot easier to learn than uh, this. Let's see, do I have this right? I don't know. It may be on back. It looks like it fits. We'll find out. Let's tighten it down. It might be. It came right off. I can't put it back on. Okay. There's, there's, there's two different angles here on this thing. And I think I have it matched up right way. Just loosen out of here. 
Come on. Hang on. Don't force it, Andy. Just loosen the screws up till it goes back on. Okay. You want to put it on the forward, the most forward one. I really don't think that's right. I'm going to flip it over. There's some, uh, the corners are beveled and it doesn't match. The other side, the corners aren't beveled. So maybe I have this on backwards. Let's remove these two screws. There's no picture for this, so I, I can't tell you which way it's supposed to go. So I'm going to put it on this way. Start the screws. Yeah, it makes sense for the bevel to be on the bottom, I think. When you look at when you have it looking at everything. Yeah, that looks like it's the right way now. But again, no pictures in the book. It doesn't show you. It's it's this is uh, poorly done. They need to upgrade the the booklet. I mean, I'm a, I'm a newcomer to this, and I'm mechanically pretty good, so it wasn't too bad to figure out. But you still have to figure it out. And the, oh wow, look, these bolts have a tremendous length behind them. I'll be here tightening these for ten minutes. I mean, this is the last of the assembly. There's nothing else to assemble here. Well, I got to put the scope on, but. We're going to have to figure that, you know, I don't think there's any, there's no way I can sight, boss sight this in. I think I have to, uh, I'm going to do whatever it is out of the box. I'm going to hope it's close and go to the range, which I don't know if, if I have a place where I can actually shoot this thing. I sure as hell not sure I want to shoot it in my backyard. My backyard's only 100 feet long, and between me and the neighbor is only a little tiny fence. So if I put this, uh, Put, it, put something out there to shoot into, and, I, and it's way right or left or high. It's going in through the fence into the neighbor's yard, <laughs> right through his swimming pool. So I don't think that's it. Hey, well, I think that would be how it goes. JH586, you have one of these, so maybe, maybe you can g give me some more help. But I think that's it. Now, what's this? Keep hands... Hand, thumb, and fingers below flight. <laughs> Failure to do so may cause serious injury. Uh, misuse or careless use may result in... Well, I don't plan to be an idiot with this thing, so let's take the safety tag off. Okay. Oh, great. It leaves all kinds of glue behind. Let's take a little alcohol. Let's see if we can get that glue off. Uh, yeah, the alcohol took it off. Okay. Again, I know nothing about crossbows, so the good part is I have no extra pieces, just a, a bunch of Allen keys and a couple of plastic bags. So all the pieces is all assembled. Now, next, rifle scope. Yeah, okay. Doesn't say anybody who have no clue who makes the scope. There's nothing on the box. Okay, we take that out. Need a little something here. I think I sniffle it's because it's actually cold down here. And my nose runs. <laughs> so let's take care of that. Okay. More goodies. So let's get the, let's disconnect this. Again guys, I'm sorry if I'm standing in front of the camera. I, I really don't think about the camera sometimes when I'm filming something. So I don't know how much of that you actually saw. It is coming together. Oh, the camera just has a battery. So it's a much better scope than they even anticipated. They give you a lens cleaning kit. What else do they give you? Instructions, okay. And some uh, silica, okay. Let's get this out of the way for now. And uh, 
118 NL. I have no idea. Okay, well, we got lens caps that fit loose as can be. I don't know why they couldn't have that any better. And I really have no idea where I'm going to put this because uh, I don't know where where it should be for my eye relief. I like it cl closer. Well, let's see. We're going to be to told that the lens cap, if I mount this here, will the lens cap actually fit? Let's hand tighten and see how it sits. Because it looks like, uh, I guess the lens cap will go on. Okay. Oh, great. Would have lost that. That's a cheek riser adjuster. I'm going to tighten that sucker up on both sides because I don't know if I... That might be nice. I might take this off and put it on my AR. <laughs> okay, what else is there? They're just doing nothing here. They're just putting the scope on, attaching the scope onto the scope using base, four mount screws. So you have to position the scope by moving it forward or backward until the proper eye really have it. This is typical three or inches from your eye. You know, holding crossbow and shooting position. Okay, line the screws with the groove on the rail. Okay, nothing new here, but, uh, oh, what's this? Safe and fire. Okay, a little stiff. Guess maybe it has to be cocked, maybe, to. Okay, maybe it has to be cocked because I can't move it. I'm not sure what some of these things are. Alright, they give you an Allen key for what? Oh, for the scope mounts. But they're already tightened down. So I need to get my big screwdriver. Tighten them up. It's really not a big screwdriver, it's just one of those flip over things. But for now, we're just going to snug them down. Because I have no idea if that's where I'm going to mount the scope. So they're just snug down. I'll down at a later time. Alrighty, this seems to be be it. Obviously, I got a. Oh, that's a see-through cap. Look at that. It's yellow, see-through. Interesting. I didn't notice that. And. Alright, looks pretty good. I got a light glare in me in the eye, so I really can't see. It looks like it's right where it's supposed to be, the scope. Doesn't look too bad. It might not be 100% straight though, but it's, it's on there. And, uh, you give me a battery for this thing. But, uh, I don't see a way of turning it on and off. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a thing on here. You turn it. I guess. Oh, it's got red and green. And I guess uh, there's got to be a neutral position somewhere. Which I will play with once I put the battery in but I'm not putting the battery in right now. So now, that is the crossbow. Now let's see if it's, what else it says. Let's get the lens protector on. Yeah, I might have to almost cross it like they do. That keeps it a little tighter. Now, let's see if they talk about anything else. This seems like a good time to maybe light up a smoke and do a little... Attaching the sling... It's, what do you mean it's not included? I got it right here. Attaching the shoulder sling not included in, oh, in all models. Okay. Let's see. 
they give us a sling. I tell you, I mean, it looks decent. I mean, it's nothing special. You know, it's nothing special, really. It looks like they're. Anytime they attach the show thing available on some models. <coughs> Sorry guys, like, like I said, I have a habit of standing in front of the camera. Okay. That's the first sling. I'm going to move it back a little bit. I'm not sure if this is all showing up in the picture. Okay. Well, that makes the arrow in the wrong place if I want to sling it on that side. That's a little bit uncomfortable as a sling because the way it sits, it's hitting my back right here. Well, I'm just looking at this thing. I w Do you have any... What it must, you, <coughs> you must need a special tool for this if you had to restring this. There's no way in hell you're doing this by hand. <coughs> okay, let's see what else it says. It says, okay, to put the crossbow on the safety on it is engaged and the safety switch moves to on safe position when the crossbow is cocked in normal manner. So, oh, it automatically goes to safe. Make sure the crossbow is pointed in a safe direction. Side safety switch from fire position, on safe position. The crossbow is on safe. When the safety switch is moved all the way back, under the white dots. To put the crossbow on fire, attempting to cock the crossbow safe switch. In attempting to cock the crossbow and the safety switch is on safe, you need to use a cocking preparation switch to move the safety switch from on safe position to fire. Position in order to crossbow to accept the string when cocked. Follow the instructions on cocking and loading the crossbow. Okay. So, me, like an idiot, I push the button, and I can't put it back on fire. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Cocking the crossbow. Okay. Do not cock or load the crossbow unless in a safe area and load and save. Okay. Be sure to apply rail lube to the rail. Apply string and cable wax to the non severed areas and string the cables before cocking. Remember, cock the crossbow safely must be in the fire position as you cock the crossbow. The safety will engage to the on safe position. If the safety is on safe, here we go, push and hold the cocking prepara preparation switch forward. What the hell is a cocking preparation switch? Oh my god, these guys, they they don't give you much information. Ah, oh, what's this? Aha. Gotcha. Look at that. They wish they would show you pictures, though, guys. There's no picture of this stuff. Okay. Uh, well, holding and cock button switch for slide the safety switch to the on safe position to fire position. And release the cocking preparation switch once safe. Place the cocking stirrup on the ground and place your foot securely inside of it. I have no idea about lubing this thing. It doesn't go into detail, so I'm going to have to learn about this. So place the center of the cocking rope. You know, it's in a knot, of course. Why did I have to put it in a knot like this? You can't even get it apart. 
I guess it's just a way to make sure it doesn't come to you knotted up. Okay, this is a cocking string. It looks like there's a right and wrong way to load this, which I, oh, I see, there's hooks. These hooks go down on the, these hooks are going to come down, and which way does this guy show you having them? Very bad pictures. Uh, this has got to be some of the worst pictures. I would assume they should be pointing down. Okay, before I cock this stupid thing, I don't know how I'm going to unload it yet. Place the hooks on the cocking rope onto the crossbow string each side of the flight rail. Okay, we got that. Pull both T handle signs and smoothly drawing the crossbow string back under the bolt. Retaining spring and into the spring opening the trigger mechanism the tension will keep the cocking rod against the rail done properly. Can continue to run the trigger safety switch moves to on safe position. Relax the tension slightly to ensure the trigger latch has fully captured the crossbow string. Note, the main string should click into place and the safety should automatically engage. If the string is being captured by the trigger latch, okay. once cocked, remove the rope cocker. Yeah, okay, it's smart from the crossbow. The crossbow is now cocked and ready for loading an arrow bow. Do not use your hand or the rope cocker to uncock the crossbow as it may cause serious injury to the user or damage loading the crossbow. Well that I'm not too worried about. So how do I uncock it? Warning, aiming the crossbow, sighting the crossbow, firing the crossbow, they don't, oh God, so if I load, if I cock this thing, I shouldn't be shooting with an out of bolt in it? I don't know. Never dry fire. Do not modify or alter the crossbow. So, if I load this thing up and I go a field and I don't shoot the thing, how do you unload it? That makes no sense. Okay? It means I got to shoot the arrow to unload it? Okay. You should not cock or load the crossbow unless you are in a safe area position. Should always in the time. Okay. Why? Aim. Warning. Keep your fingers. Do not use your hand. Aiming. I don't know more about aiming it. Keep the crossbow. Do not use your hand loading the crossbow. Okay. I cock it back. And let roll and ready. Keep the crossbow safe position. And ready to push safety forward to the fire position. Keep fingers and tumble the path and string, uh, aiming the crossbow, sighting, firing. Do not decocking the crossbow. Okay. Do not use your hand or rope cocker to uncock the crossbow as it may cause. You should not cock or load the crossbow unless you are in a safe area. Always identify target. If for some reason you must decock cross, do not dry fire it. Load an old arrow bolt and fly into a safe target after following instructions in this manual. Dry filing can cause serious injury or damage to the crossbow. I mean, that's okay. I I'm, I'm, can't cock this on television here, so I got to speak to somebody who knows a little bit more at this point. But this was the assembly of my new toy. I'm pretty sure I did it right. Uh, everything is together properly. Uh, but I will have to speak to JH586. He has the same brand of crossbow. Uh, but a different model, uh, uh, a little bit uh, smaller model, like a lesser pole or something. But uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, I don't know what else to show. I got everything on here. I guess maybe I could uh, try putting a, one, they, one of the bolts into here and you push it. I guess you just push it in the... Oh, okay, lock that down. That would be nice, Andy. Okay, this looks like this... Has a couple of screws, so you could adjust. Oh, look at that! It does have adjustment. Okay, I things that they don't tell you in the book. I read every every paragraph, so I guess you maybe you just put it in, put it in. Okay, that's worn in. So how when you sh when you're holding it? I guess it's not in the way. Boy, they have it on an angle. That's the only way I can put it in there. Okay. It holds what? One, two, three. It can hold four bolts. They're not arrows, they're bolts. And uh, I ordered some bolts. 
Uh, you know, we'll see how they are. Carbon fiber bolts, I hope they're any good. The price was too cheap, but that doesn't mean they're not going to be good. And, uh, you know, obviously I got to do some learning because it's going to cock. I don't know how to put the arrow in yet. I guess it just would go, yeah, I guess it'll just lay right in there. Again, there's no other parts, so I can't see anything I did wrong. I mean, there's, there's holes here for something. I mean, there's nothing in the manual that I, uh, that talks about it. Anything more than what I did. Does it just lay on here? I mean, I can't, co I'm not going to cock it to find out the hard way. I mean, obviously it looks like when you load it, you have to put one of the feathers pointed down. Okay. And it goes all the way back into something. And, I, and it just rests on there? I don't know. It just seems wrong. Uh, that's the book. The picture on the book just shows it resting there. Like I said, I'm going to have to uh, speak to JH586 on this and see if... Uh, He's got any more information? Yeah, when you cock, there's a little lever here that kind of holds the arrow down in the back. But there's nothing up front. But I want to just going to take this bolt out. Just want to take a quick look. There it is. There are one, one, two, there are four threaded holes here for something. And I couldn't tell you what. I don't know what these rubber things are for. Just maybe they're shin guards. And all right, people. Thanks for watching. I can't really come up with anything else to talk about on this thing at this point. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I was out of the camera enough for you to see some, some of the assembly. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll get some more information on the product and how to do it. And. Uh, if I get anything more to make a video with, I will. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.